Hello everybody, my name is Manuel Marsiglio and I'm the General Manager of the European Association of the Bicycle Industry Economy. Our work is to deal respectively with the European institutions from one side and the international entities like the United Nations and the World Health Organization from the other one. Cycling means jobs. In Europe there are around 900 companies, most of them small and medium enterprises, providing 110,000 jobs directly and indirectly linked to manufacturing, as well as 50,000 bike and e-bike dealers and more than 1 billion euro invested every year in research, innovation and development. E-bikes are one of the most tangible examples of those investments. Their sales are booming, reaching almost 3.5 million units sold in Europe in 2018 and a forecast of 4 million units likely to be sold in 2020. We still see a huge discrepancy between the proposed funding, for example, for the development of e-cars and the overall support for e-mobility on two wheels. That is the reason why the industry called on the European institutions to foresee substantial actions that would foster the cycling culture in Europe. For money to be given at national level for new and safe cycling infrastructure, to VAT reduction policies, purchase bonuses for bikes and e-bikes, and also good European legislation that, for example, would allow e-bike riders to still be considered cyclists and not motorcyclists. Thousands of kilometers of new bike lanes have popped up around Europe, and that's amazing. Take the example of Brussels, the city where I live. Before the COVID-19 outbreak, we all knew Brussels for its never-ending traffic congestions. But in May, it was decided that the entire city center would be turned into a 20 km per hour zone with pedestrians and cyclists allowed to receive full priority. I'm very glad that cycling has doubled in April and May in comparison to the same period last year. No fear, bicycle shops won't be out of stock in September. The only delay might happen for the 2021 models. So, for the ones who haven't done it yet, go to bike shops or online and become part of the cycling community.